From Washington, the McLaughlin Group, the American original. For over two decades, the sharpest minds, best sources, hardest talk. The McLaughlin Group is brought to you by MetLife. Guarantees for the if in life. Issue one, right on. Reverend Jeremiah Wright, Barack Obama's former pastor, delivered a defiant address this week in Washington at the National Press Club. Reverend Wright was asked about this assertion he made shortly after 9-11. We bombed Hiroshima, we bombed Nagasaki, and we nuked far more than the thousands in New York and the Pentagon, and we never batted an eye. We have supported state terrorism against the Palestinians and black South Africans, and now we are indignant because the stuff we have done overseas is now brought right back into our own front yards. America's chickens are coming home to roost. In response this week, Dr. Wright did not back off. In fact, he said that his statements were based on the Bible. You cannot do terrorism on other people and expect it never to come back on you. Those are biblical principles, not Jeremiah Wright bombastic divisive principles. Pastor Wright was also asked about his previous charge that the U.S. government invented the HIV virus as a form of genocide against African Americans. Again, Wright this week did not back down. Based on the Tuskegee experiment and based on what has happened to Africans in this country, I believe our government is capable of doing anything. Question, is Obama's pastor, Jeremiah Wright, deliberately trying to torpedo Obama's campaign? Pat Buchanan. No, what, what uh, the pastor is trying to do, John, is rehabilitate himself, and he doesn't care if it damages Obama. What he did was a selfish and shameful thing, very damaging to Obama. He then went out and said, Obama is just you know, basically divorcing himself from me because he's a politician, he's sort of got to do it, wink, wink. And I think this thing has been very hurtful to Obama in this sense. It has drawn him out of the middle of he's one of us, a regular guy, over onto the left where he's got a wacko preacher, he's got this weatherman bomber friend of his, his wife has never had uh, known America to be something to be proud of. And I think it's been overall the most damaging thing to happen to Obama this entire campaign. Hello. Look, I think Reverend Wright, as a man of an outsized ego, he was offended that uh, his disciple seemed to distance himself in that speech in Philadelphia. How do we know that? And How do we I, know that he was offended? I think it's pretty apparent that he was a ticking bomb from then and also earlier when he was disinvited from uh, Obama's announcement ceremony. And so, yeah, he was rehabilitating himself, and this was a chance to get Obama back. But look, I think Senator Obama handled this the best way that he could. And one of the lingering doubts about him is whether he can land a punch. And he acted decisively, eloquently, showed a little bit of passion, which we haven't seen in him. He's been criticized for being too remote and too cool. So I think that he has reassured the voters and the superdelegates uh, that he is a man that can't be pushed around, that he's tough uh, enough well, for the let's job. Let's pick that up. Uh, hold on, uh, Monica. Okay, Obama's dangerous gambit. Senator Obama has now tried to divorce himself from this nightmare former pastor. I've known Reverend Wright for almost 20 years. Uh, the person I saw yesterday uh, was not the person that I met 20 years ago. He was never my spiritual mentor. He was, uh, he was my pastor. Uh, and so to some extent how you know, the, the press characterized in the past uh, that relationship, I think, uh, wasn't accurate. Question. So Obama is saying that Wright is a master of concealment over those 20 years, a gifted chameleon. He has hidden his true colors for two decades from Obama. Can voters trust a man who doesn't know his own pastor's beliefs when, as president, he must make lifetime appointments to the Supreme Court, appointments to his cabinet? Would he misjudge foreign leaders and adversaries? Would voters think that Obama is just too inexperienced to be the most powerful man in the world? 
all good questions, John, and all questions that have percolated up in light of this Jeremiah Wright stuff. I mean, this pastor ambition door has been wholly destructive to the Obama campaign. Look, Reverend Wright, in those clips over the past weekend, his whole theme was, a change is coming. I can feel it. Barack Obama's theme, his slogan for his campaign is, a change we can believe in. We know what Jeremiah Wright, Wright's version of change is. Black liberation theology that, that casts America as a villain, a destructive force in the world, rather than a force for moral good. The question for Barack Obama, which he has failed to address, is how much of, of Jeremiah Wright's version of change for America and the world is similar to yours. Where is it? Where do you agree with him? Where do you disagree with him? And why? This was a call for specificity right. from Barack Obama, which he has not yet given. Right. Have we established that he was close, that these two men were close? Have we established that? Absolutely. 20 years, sat he, in the he pews. He officiated, right. Uh, right. right officiated the Married marriage. Them, he ba baptized, baptized the both children. Right. Does he see much? The, the, right. Is he more than just a pastor? Of course, he was a close friend right. and confidant by Obama's own description. Right. In fact, in his Philadelphia speech, he said, I can't mm -hmm. disavow this man. He is a part of me. No. So the uh, question did he now is, Obama? okay, yeah. he is a John, part of Obama. Wait a minute, let's finish. Well, right. The question yeah, for Obama is Let's go to class. Hold on now. Let's go to class. Let's go to class. I like the way you're getting right, all this. Exactly. I mean, really, uh, uh, the, the fact <laughs> of the matter is, I mean, this is a church with 7,000 right. members on the rolls. The, uh, uh, the, nobody, nobody has said Obama spent that much time with Reverend Wright. He does talk about him in his first book, back when they first met 20 years ago. But, you know, uh, even, even Wright didn't give a direct answer when asked how often did Obama go to church. I mean, the fact, fact of the matter is, uh, Obama initially was concerned about getting black support. That was a big reason why he didn't want to make a big break with, with uh, Reverend Wright right away. Right. But they knew they had a problem around the time of his announcement, uh, uh, Obama's announcement, back when uh, they asked Wright to uh, step aside. But, on but the, Clarence, do you on, think on, Obama's on really credible when he says, I had no idea about this and everybody did? He sounds either well, non-credible no, 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 or clueless. Yeah. Let me answer that and uh, my, my uh, uh, dear friend Monica. Right. Does anybody think that Obama's critics are really credible when they say that right. Obama believes what Reverend Wright believes? Right. I mean, says Wright says is right. 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 A lot of people do. Monica just said that Obama is credible. Yes, Monica, yes, Monica just said uh, that this is a radical black liberation theology right. that she is suggesting that Barack Obama would bring to the White House <laughs> no, and the I, Oval no, Office. No, that. nobody okay. thinks he is a I, secret radical. I did not radical. say that. I, did not, I said I believe because did. Obama is running as a blank John. slate. He is not filled in the question marks and people and, can only and, assume okay. that rights and, agenda. And, uh, we're going to have a covey, a covey of black nationalists on the way to White House. That's not what you're suggesting. Monica, Monica you do make a good point in that he should answer the question for people who don't know him that well. Correct. Okay, knows here Obama, is right, he's not here a black is right view theology. of Ray Obama. <laughs> Quote, we both know that if Senator Obama did not say what he said, he would never get elected. Politicians say mm -hmm. what they say and do what they do based on electability, based on sound bites, based on polls, unquote. Question. Has Wright really saved Obama, Clarence Page? I think Wright may have provided Obama with something of a sister soldier moment. It would have been, been more of that mm -hmm. if Obama had broken earlier. But, but at least he did give Obama cover but Clarence, that, that, without saying, worrying about losing black Clarence, folks. he's saying Obama is a phony. That Obama basically well, agrees with me. Let Pat finish. Let me finish. Look, he's yep. saying he's a phony. He right. basically agrees with me, but he's a politician, so he's got to say the things he's he says. He's a pragmatist. That is, yeah. Yeah. Well, that is what ticked off Colin Eller. That is what ticked off Obama well, more than anything yes. right. and drove and, him out and, to make that statement. And you're but, saying that Reverend Wright is therefore credible, the man you just called a wacko about right. two minutes right. earlier. <laughs> and I believe that Senator Obama got up there and said, right. I speak for myself. He right. doesn't speak for why did he not know about this wacko as we described <laughs> him? Well, you him 20 years. Okay, you okay, let me, let me repeat. Because, let you, me know, repeat. because let me, you didn't know you. Of what the priests in your church were doing all those years. <laughs> you <laughs> sat in the pew. Wait a minute. <laughs> what about a credible wacko? <laughs> credible uh, wacko. Okay, right. does this sure. put the Rubik's Cube together? Less than a year ago, Obama and Wright attended a big conference at Hampton University in Virginia. 8,000 people were in attendance, most of them Christian ministers, observant ones. And Obama said this from the podium. Wright may be closer to the truth. Obama's own earlier words may validate Wright.
I've got to give a special shout out to my pastor, the guy who puts up with me, counsels me, listens to my wife complain about me. He's a friend and a great leader. Easy question. Take it by itself, the Jeremiah Wright storm is not enough to derail Obama's nomination. I think we all agree. But there is the trifecta. We have Wright Gate. We have Resco Gate. Which has not bubbled up in anything, I, I point out. But right. Resco's okay. on trial this week, and he's okay. going to testify. Been this been while, and, and, we have, and, and, and we <laughs> have Bitter Gate, the <laughs> Pennsylvania fiasco. And you've got Does the trifecta have the power to derail Obama's nomination? The answer, I believe, is no. But you got William Ayers. What has happened, however, is that Obama has been driven out of the center of politics. And we're going to see in Indiana and North Carolina whether he can sustain it or whether the bottom is about to drop out. Did you hear his description of his relationship in that last that clip shows, with Wright? That proves he, he was is counseled either, by Wright? Yes, yes, we saw it. He's that a friend proves, of Wright? We saw it. John, that proves he is either well, non-credible or clueless. Yeah. Wright comforts Michelle when she's sorrowing? Sure. Correct. Over, over him. Now, does that right. satisfy you that they have a... He is a, the man that brought him to Jesus, which he writes about... To gr at great well, length. Which side he you are you on? You are decrying his... He, he, there's more than one side, John. He is a man who served honorably in the U.S. military, which a lot of his critics have not. He was so highly regarded. He became a medical corpsman. He was in the detail that took care of President Lyndon Johnson after he left office. He's won all kinds of awards. He's erudite. He lost it in that press club appearance because he's in a battle. He's, he's leaving the stage. It's a generational tug of war. He's seeing his apostle right. making money with he, his book, you know stealing does the this, title from him. He lost does his question, two men does this question turn on the veracity of Obama? This, Namely, that he yes. says... I didn't know about this side right. this of is, this man. This is what is undermining his campaign more than anything else, even more than the individual crazy statements by Jeremiah Wright. That is the disingenuousness that you're talking about. Barack Obama, for 15 months, has flourished in this campaign as the transcendent Messiah hope guy. Unified. Now he looks like regular Paul, sellout guy, on the par with the Clintons, and it's not working for I him. Have, uh, <laughs> I have, uh, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, I, I don't think that, uh, that Obama's credibility is shot. I think right. uh, everybody was asking for a man who could transcend race, bring the races together. You know, uh, Jeremiah Wright's views are not that unusual out in the, in the black community, especially mm -hmm. in the south side of Chicago. They were somewhat blindsided by Wright's behavior. They expected, and believe me, people in Wright's congregation are disappointed right, with his do you behavior. Say, do you they say. Just, I want to make one quick point. You know, black folks in, in Wright's congregation and, and, and elsewhere love Wright, they also love Obama. They don't love the way I've Wright has been quite, acting I've, towards I've Obama, got, and that's why Obama has cover now mm -hmm. to break, break, break his relationship I've with Wright. I've got two questions for you. One, do you think Obama trims? You know, on, on the truth? Well, you know, what person running for office does not? But I think if you look around, you know, uh, his, his trim rate has been pretty, pretty low, low compared right. to some okay. of the people he's uh, running no, I got against. Another question. And the other question for you is this. Do you think that while it can't be said Wright got him into this mess. Wright got him out because Wright said he was a pragmatist. That well, there, do you think that that's safe? He said he's a well, cynical politician, in effect. Very I'm a pastor telling effect. the truth, and he's a cynical politician. In effect, what no, he actually he said, Pat, sense. was something quite sense. unremarkable that everybody's ran into. No, and don't he do it. Said, John, when you call a guy a politician, what you're saying is, yeah. look, wink, wink, he's got to say that. If he doesn't do that, you have the deep character issue about Obama. And he moved it away from that. He says he's behaving like a politician. It's the lesser of two evils. Do you understand? This is what drove Obama to denounce him because he called me a politician. He you don't know that. You don't know that. Early, That's what Obama early. said. You've got the whole sequence Obama wrong. Obama said it. You've got the no, sequence it wrong. Wasn't, no. Excuse me. It wasn't that he called him a politician. It was that he said he's saying things that he doesn't mean. And I think exactly. Obama reacted to that uh, quite well. Right. And I also want to point out, for all of the anchors you've just hung around Obama's neck, they're nothing compared to George W. Bush in the fall around John McCain's neck. 
if Obama gets the well, nomination. Well, that makes me feel both. <laughs> and the economy. But, but in terms of, you know, well, you're, saying, you're saying, did Wright, did Wright save him from the character <laughs> issue? But he raised another whole character issue for Barack Obama, which is, no. has he been lying to us to get elected? And that makes him know. a conventional you don't politician, know which <laughs> takes away his you whole don't know shtick. Mark, 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 all he said Mark, was Mark, Obama Mark. is a pragmatist. He o said, Obama is, 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 He said he's saying what he needs to say to get elected. Exactly. You know what he's does not right. do that. But, but doesn't that equalize Barack no. Obama with Hillary no, Clinton? No, I think it gets McCain him out of a character everybody. problem. <laughs> when we come back, the journalist's mission is to expose incompetence, as Clarence does, corruption <laughs> in Chicago, and abuse of power. Essential to this, however, are sources, whistleblowers. And those whistleblowers should have the protection that they need at all costs. Is that true or false? <laughs> If, for such a small word, it packs a wallop. If I live to a hundred, if social security isn't enough, if my heart gets broken, if she says yes. We believe if should never hold you back. If should be managed with coverage that builds on what you already have. Together, we can create a personal safety net, a launching pad for all those brilliant ifs in the middle of life. Call on our expertise and get guarantees for the if in life. After all, we're MetLife. We know why we're here. To build a new generation of airplanes to connect the world. Airplanes that fly cleaner and farther on less fuel. And make non-stop travel possible to more places. Around the globe, the people of Boeing are working together to bring us together. That's why we're here. Did you notice? Something ultra cool is happening in the laundry aisle. Many of your favorite laundry detergent brands are going ultra. They're now two times concentrated. Ultra small and ultra powerful. So one small cap can get your whole wash clean. The smaller bottle is handy for you and it uses less plastic, so it's better for the environment. Now that is ultra cool. 2X concentrated detergents. One small cap can get your whole wash clean. It's a contemporary sale. It's a traditional sale. It's a small space sale. It's a big space sale. It's even a kid space sale. Living rooms. Dining rooms. Bedrooms. Family rooms. Home office. And mattresses. All on sale at the lowest prices in town, guaranteed. It's Marlowe's. Absolutely everything. Take an additional 15% off. The lowest furniture prices in town sale. sale. Now through Sunday at Marlowe. What's on sale? Absolutely everything. And that's a lot. Take home the Audi A4 Special Edition and enjoy Sirius Satellite Radio with over 130 channels for one year. Issue 2, shield us. The longer I serve in Congress, the more firmly I believe in the wisdom of our founders, especially as it pertains to the First Amendment and freedom of the press. Right on, Mike. But Thomas Jefferson said this, our liberty depends on the freedom of the press. And that cannot be limited without being lost. Unquote. So, is the press free today? Really free? Journalists argue not quite. Why? Because if ordered by a court, journalists can be forced to reveal anonymous sources. So, reporters have argued and fought for a federal shield law for years now. A law that would protect the media from being coerced into disclosing confidential sources. Sources that are willing to provide sensitive information 
only if those sources are not identified. Some state laws provide journalists such protection, but there is no federal law, mostly because of national security concerns. But times are changing, especially for Republicans. GOP nominee John McCain has announced his support for a national shield law for journalists. But he does so cautiously because disclosure of certain classified information could threaten national security. I must confess there have been times when I worry that the press's interest in getting a scoop occasionally conflicts with other important priorities. Priorities even the first concern of every American, the security of our nation. But the Arizona senator still comes down on the side of a shield for journalists. It's also a license to do good, to disclose injustice and, law and unlawfulness and inequities, and to encourage their swift correction. Despite concerns I have about the legislation, I have narrowly decided to support it. This is a heavy burden, isn't it? Heavy. Oh. To bear heavy, this. heavy burden. Well, first of all, John McCain is going to welcome any opportunity he can find to separate himself from the White House, because the White mm -hmm. House is opposed Our, to a shield law. Right. And he now shares this position with the two Democrats that, that are running, which is where mm -hmm. he wants to be, because mm -hmm. he's fishing for the same pool of Democrats' uh, independence. But it, it's also the right position to take, and I think it's one of the reasons that John McCain uh, is admired this in is the journalistic you know, community. He's a this straight talker. Did you notice that Jefferson put uh, no I, limits on that? He said... No. It yeah, I, I saw that. Um, John McCain, is, he thinks he's being smart here, but this is beyond dumb for him for two reasons. First of all, this is such a typical mistake conservatives make, especially when they're running for high office. They think that if they can do something to placate the press, the press will be nice to them, be on their side. Never happens, no way. McCain has schmoozed the press for a long time. He's back in the, in the plane and on the bus taking bites out of their donuts. They still write negative stories about him, okay? Number two, he is running as the national security candidate in this race. You have had over the past couple of years, you've had uh, the New York Times, the Washington Post, other big newspapers mm -hmm. splash the NSA wiretap story on the front page, data mining, the swift uh, financial yeah. tracking of terrorists. Yeah. You've had all right. these other uh, stories. Uh, national no. security. What's the secrets. point? Monica is not a journalist. Monica is not a journalist. What's the point? Monica Monica a a point? We have freedom of the press. Of <laughs> there is a balance to be made and a journalistic responsibility right. not to splash right. state um, secrets on the front page. Let me get into this. You're against the shield. I'm against the John, I am a journalist. Right, 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 right. Right. The press is not above the law. As um, a presidential assistant, well, I had to testify uh, to the grand we, jury about what the president said. We, As a journalist, I don't. We have That's an administration. Well, you can write we the law. We have an administration that shouldn't be above the law. And every right. one of the instances that Monica cited there just about Neither should are you. areas <laughs> where Neither should you are be areas, the law. Are wow. areas where well, the American the people represented about. by the press. Who, who elected to, you to represent the American <laughs> people? Clarence, we're talking about writing the law. Hold on, Eleanor, let Clarence But you're not elected by anybody. Clarence I'm, enjo media, I'm enjoying this, really. Uh, the media is not out. elected, but they are part of a democracy, and there have been many founding fathers. Oh, no, no, we look have have go ahead. Welcome, That's why Clarence. we have lawmakers to write the law. And, that, uh, and the fact is, th those were good stories you mentioned. There's a bunch of others we could talk about as well. Because <laughs> the press, a free press is supposed to be a check on government. That was what Jefferson was talking about. Will Congress, had an will will Congress enact a law, a federal shield law for the press? Yes or no? No, and if they do, the press will veto it. If not this Congress, they will once we get yes. a new administration. They will, they will. They they will. or a Democrat. Veto. And what? Bush, Bush will veto. Yes or no? Uh, Bush is not, gone. Not this session, maybe right. the next one. Uh, right. Clarence is right. The next session. Okay, the human toll, <laughs> U.S. military dead in Iraq, 4,065. One half, 24 years of age and under. U.S. military amputeed, wounded, severely injured, injured, mentally ill, 93,665. We'll be right back with predictions. The McLaughlin Group is brought to you by Grant Thornton. Find out how it feels to work with people who love what they do. When someone you count on is not responsive... 
bad things could happen. That's why Grant Thornton clients count on us to be responsive. With easy access to partners in the U.S. and through member firms worldwide. Grant Thornton. Find out what it's like to work with people who love what they do. For people close to retirement, there are plenty of ifs to go around. If our savings will last. If we should take Social Security when we hit 62 or 67. MetLife can strengthen your retirement plan by providing a lifetime stream of income that's guaranteed and that works together with your investments. Helping you create a safety net that promises Happy New Year's with guarantees for the if in life. Learn how MetLife can help you make the most of what you have in retirement. Coming up on This Week in Defense News, an inside look at the U.S. arms export business and new global security threats that could have massive consequences. Sunday morning at 11, right here on WUSA 9. Before you ball it up, up and throw it and all, throw it all up, up in my space. space. And if I say something to you, and if I say something to you, you want to jump all up in my you face. Jump all up in my book, face. A book to a flight another to city. another city. And stop, and stop popping, popping up. up. Because, because I'm, I'm an instant an messenger. Instant messenger. Trash trash pick it up litter not in our dc in maryland you live so close to so many incredible things so what are you waiting for for a free guide with $2,500 in discounts, go to ExploreMD.com. Maryland. Pretty. Close. At GEICO, we'd like to single out a special group of our customers and say thank you to all of the government and military personnel who serve our country. So from everyone at GEICO, we salute you. You've been an important part of what we do since 1936. Visit GEICO.com. It's the latest in communication. Entertainment and exhilaration. The 300 horsepower Acura MDX. It's next generation luxury. Acura Advance. North Carolina, Tuesday. Hillary upset. Anna. Obama. Monica. Obama by slimmer margin. Clarence. Obama by slimmer margin. Answer Obama. Indiana, Tuesday. Hillary Big. Clinton. Oh. Monica. Hillary by four. Hillary. Obama narrowly. Bye bye. needs a timeout. Coordinated IKEA bedroom collections. All you need to create your own sanctuary. Health on the inside. Radiance on the outside. Now get both with the new Crest Healthy Radiance system. The daily fluoride toothpaste penetrates to help strengthen and rebuild enamel below the surface, while the weekly intensive strip deep cleans to whiten. Build healthy teeth within, and whiten for teeth with healthy radiance with the only system from Crest, New Crest Healthy Radiance. I want you to understand that everything you do is a reflection of the job that I've done in training you in the Cochrane way. Always remember the endless hours that we spent on the little issues that others don't think about. At the Cochrane Firm, we represent our clients the Cochrane way. If you suffered a personal injury, call the Cochrane Firm for a free consultation. For a free consultation, call 1-800-THE-FIRM. Remember, insurance companies are looking out for their interests, not yours. Here comes trouble. Make that big trouble. No, not this guy. These guys. Because just one flea can become thousands fast. On your carpet, your couch, 
everywhere. To stop an infestation, ask for Frontline Plus. Frontline Plus quickly kills fleas, their eggs, and larvae, even ticks. It's waterproof, and one dose lasts all month long. The last kind of trouble you or your pet needs is flea trouble. For dogs and cats, ask for the vet's number one choice, Frontline Plus. Todd McDermott and Leslie Foster, weeknights at 6 and 11 on 9 News Now.